Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the Marvel Legends Ravager Thor from the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder. Now this is him before he's wearing his armour, I'm guessing this is when he's in sort of his, you know, post-workout high, and it looks like a really cool figure. I mean, they've put a lot of effort here in random places, and it has paid off because he's quite detailed, although the arms do let him down a bit. I mean, they're muscular, but there's no shading that I can see on them, so a lot of that definition that would really pop is just lost. They are pinless, which I know a lot of people like, and they have, you know, good articulation, but they are sort of the weakest part of the figure because there's no shading on them, so they don't look very dynamic. Uh, Stormbreaker is a new paintwork, so it's very metallic looking, very, very nice. Yeah, hold on, my camera will focus. There we go. Yeah, you can see you've got sort of different hues there. All very well done. I quite enjoy it. The actual handle is quite nicely done too. But you'll see, yeah, just no shading on those arms whatsoever. The face, decent like worth. Like worth? Decent likeness of Hemsworth. If my thing will focus again. There we go. And the tree looks phenomenal on the shirt. I love the paint job they've done there. I'm thinking it's the tree... Yargasol? I oh, don't know. The, you know, the tree that links the nine worlds. And the jacket, good texturing, the pockets, good paintwork, got the gold buttons, his belt buckle, his Thor belt buckle is great. His pants nicely lined and done. His boots are the classic Thor boots, so it's cool that they've managed to work those in in a way that's organic. Uh, hair, you've got the sort of braids and things. Another bit of, like, paint on the back there, some lines sculpted onto the jacket. Just a really, really nice figure in that sense, but I do wish they could have done something about the arms, because they just look really bland in comparison to the others. Uh, let's see, do I have a Marvel Legend to stand next to him? Hydra Soldier, Thor is a tall boy, this figure is tall, so I'm pleased about that. If we get another big Marvel Legends dude here, we've got Bishop on the Hyperion body. Thor's almost as big, and this is one of the bigger bodies they've got, so they've made a large guy. Articulation-wise, shoulder will get you 90 degrees, if not a little more. Bicep swivel. Is there a butterfly joint tucked away in there? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, there is no butterfly joint in there. Uh, double joint elbow gives you way more than 90. And then you have a wrist swivel, and your hand is on a hinge. So that will come in and out. Head is able to look up that much, look down, oh, I just went, look down that much, look up that much. Teensy bit of attitude, can't, ah, oh, can almost spin. The hair gets in the way, you could push it, I don't want to, but you could. You've got an ab crunch, uh, so you can come that far forward and go that far back. Waist swivel. Legs, almost as the splits, almost full Van Damme. Pretty much 90 degrees forward, maybe not quite. Bicep swivel is there, so it'll give you 360. Double jointed knee gives you way more than 90, that's good. Do we have a shin swivel? No, no shin swivel. Good ankle pivot though. And foot goes down that much, and comes up that much. So, yeah. Articulation is fine. It's not super limited in any way. I mean, it's not stellar. He's not that busy a figure, so there's not much blocking them giving him great articulation, but that is as it stands. Accessories-wise, he's only got the painted Stormbreaker, uh, and then he comes with some of the core builder figure, but as we all know, I don't count that, because why would you? Yeah. Good figure. Not amazing. But a really nice lightness of Thor, it's a fun figure. What am I going to rank this? There, yeah, four out of five, I think. It's not blowing me away, but it's still a solid figure. It's just let down by a few issues. I think maybe the price hike that Marvel Legends have had are colouring my opinion as well, because this guy is more expensive than some others that have been released, which... Don't know why they've upped the price. Doesn't really seem necessary, but here we go. Yeah, four out of five will... Dive into the pictures and then wrap this up. One sec.
okay, folks, and there you have it. The new Marvel Legends Ravager Thor. And he's a fun figure. I mean, he's not perfect, but he is a lot of fun. And really, that's all you can ask. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. He could have done with an angry head, a more expressive face. This would have been a lot more fun if, you know, we had the classic Thor smile. And, yeah, I think that's just the biggest drawback. We needed an extra head. Otherwise... I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, we have plenty more that are updated very regularly. We've also got Hero House, Figure Fights, Top 10 List, Ranking List, The Wreckers, just loads of content to enjoy. So yeah, please like and subscribe, and also swing on over to Amazon to check out my book, Knaves on Waves. That would be much appreciated. Have a great time. Thank you for your time, and all the best. Bye.